Here's a quick and easy Photoshop tip you can use while touching up headshots. In some cases, your model will have eye bags that would need to be addressed. The gradient tool in Photoshop offers a quick yet effective way to beautify your model's eyes. Here's how. Go ahead and open up your image inside Photoshop. And we want to work non-destructively, so we're gonna go ahead and make a copy of our image in the layer panel over here on the right. To do so, you can right click to make a copy or just duplicate it with Control or Command J. Next, we will make a brand new empty layer on top of that. Just click here. The trick with using a gradient tool is finding the, the perfect color to sample with your image. What I like to do is press G on the keyboard and next go up to the actual gradient tool and select the type of gradient to use. Use the foreground to transparent option, this one here, and click OK. Next, make sure you're using a radial gradient, not a linear gradient. Use a radial gradient found right here in the toolbar. After that's done, zoom in on your image and begin to sample the colors that you're going to use. Hold down the Alt key on your keyboard or Option on Mac and you'll get your sample icon. Tap one time to sample the color. Now, use your mouse or Wacom tablet and just click and drag. And you'll notice it will start to blur in the sampled color. If you notice that it's not perfectly on the eye bags, just undo. So we're gonna sample again, just to be safe. Click and drag. And we're gonna start to notice the eye bags are going away. Be sure to sample multiple times on the image because the tones can change based on lighting, based on the skin, based on the angle. Having proper samples will make it look a lot more realistic. Once you have this completed, note that you are working on one layer, an empty layer, so it's going to look a little weird at first. Add a layer mask to your layer and we will use that later if necessary. Next, change the blend mode of the layer to soft light. Depending on your image, you may get less desirable results. In this case, the soft light blend mode doesn't work. So we can just change it back to the normal blend mode and adjust the fill and opacity levels. This will allow us to bring more texture back into the image, yet still keep the color tones. Now that you have your color tones matched up, if you have any excess gradient, use your layer mask tool. Press B on your keyboard to activate the brush, brush option and just brush away with the large soft brush, the excess. So there you have it, the difference between having eye bags on your model's eyes versus not. Fixing it using the gradient tool from Photoshop.